Hey kids, Mr. Seal here. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm filming this on a Monday, uh, so I'm here at work in my office. I hope everyone had a nice weekend. Uh, I had a great weekend this weekend. I spent it with loved ones and I uh, got to uh, uh, see my daughter and got to spend it with uh, people I care about and, uh, you know, watch a little Alabama football and uh, watch a little baseball. Great weekend all around. Also did a little writing, played my guitar some, you know, just normal stuff. And, you know, I also had to do some things like uh, do some laundry and, uh, you know, do the dishes, things you have to do. But now I'm at work and uh, I've got a lot of stuff to do today. Uh, I got a lot of stuff to do every day, um, but it's Monday, so I've got to take care of some business. Um, but see, Mr. Seal sometimes is uh, easily distracted. That's right. Um, you know, I think about all the stuff that I enjoy doing and, uh, uh, you know, I think about, uh, you know, maybe uh, writing a song, you know, for kids or uh, I look out my window here and the garden is out there and I get distracted, you know, and um, uh, that, this, this is not a good time to get distracted because I'm here at work, you know, and I've got to be uh, on task. I've got to take care of my work because if I don't take care of it, then some important things don't get done. And in some cases, I can even get in trouble. That's right, because I have bosses too. And so when they say, hey, you need to do this thing and I don't do it, that's not good. Um, we've been talking about SOAR. As eagles, we SOAR, S-O-A-R. And the, L, the S is for self-control, but the O is for on task. And that means taking care of your business. That's right, doing your work and staying focused on it. But like I said, I'm not always great at that. So I had to do something to make sure that I'm on task. So I'm sure all of you have seen these, these uh, speckled notebooks here. Um, I've got a whole stack of them. And what I do is each page of that book is a day of the week, um, a, a day of on the calendar. So like it might say uh, Monday, October 5th, and I have a line drawn down the middle of the page. And on one side, I have my to-do list. These are all the things I've got to get done today. On the other side, I have my list of meetings and what time I'm supposed to have the meeting and who I'm meeting with. I have a lot of meetings, um, but I don't wanna miss any of them. Um, but if, if I didn't write all this stuff down, I could get distracted and I could wind up not doing some very important work. So that's how I stay on task. And one of the things to remember about being on task is that there's a time and a place for everything. And when I'm at work, that is not the time or place for me to play my ukulele, okay? That is not the time or place for me to uh, write a children's book or to um, watch a baseball game. That's time to do work. So when you are in school, and I, oh, wow, can't wait for you guys to come back. It's going to be so great. Uh, or even if you're, what, you're doing your remote learning and the teacher is teaching, that's not the time or place to uh, play video games or to uh, watch TV or to uh, joke around with maybe your little brother or something. You gotta be on task because you've got some business to take care of. But here's the thing. If you make sure and take care of your business when you're supposed to, then you do have time for all of those other things that you really enjoy doing, spending it with people that you care about and your friends, your family, doing the things that you enjoy doing. So the great thing about being on task is first of all, you get your work done, but also you're able to get it done so that you can have time for those other things. So remember, you gotta stay on task. Successful people know when to take care of their business. And I know all of you are gonna be successful. I hope you all have a great day.